Hey guys, Jerome JT62 back on another one. On this one, we're going to look at converting the Harbor Freight 90 amp flux core welder to DC electrode ground. Something you're interested in? Coming right up. So there's a lot of videos um, already out on the conversion of this welder to make it a DC electrode ground. A couple things you're going to need. Um, it's actually a pretty simple thing to do. You're going to need a diode rectifier, bridge rectifier. I'll explain what this is in a second. You're going to need a capacitor. This thing's pretty big. Um, this one is a 30,000 MFD 50 volt or macrofarad. This is a mount um, for that capacitor. Um, I can't stand it straight up, you'll see. Um, so I went ahead and 3D printed that mount. It's not a necessary thing, but I was able to do it. Um, 8 gauge wire, stranded. Uh, had a little bit of a problem finding this wire without having to order it or it was too stiff. So, good place to find it. Auto parts store in the battery section. 8 gauge wire. Ring terminals. Some miscellaneous screws. So, we'll go ahead and pull the side off. I've done a few things already. And I'll show you where we're going. So the first thing I did was remove this stock fan, this little, looks like a fan for a vent hood. Um, it's not necessary that you change that out, but I changed it out for this higher airflow um, sun on. The only reason why I did it is because I had it. Um, 120, these are 120 volt vans. Um, also, this one, the airflow is probably two to three times the stock. So, I went ahead and installed that. It just goes around in here and it plugs onto the switch on the other side. And I put some spade terminals on there and you can plug it right up. Second thing I'm working on at this point, um, these are your output leads from your transformer. You're going to see, you'll know which ones they are because they're going to have these brown wires on here. There's another one um, on the other side that goes to the torch itself. And this one, you know, is well, it was connected right here. This is the ground with the clamp. So I went ahead and I cut the ferrule off of here. Um, I didn't want to cut into this wire here and have to re-solder. So, uh, eight gauge ring terminal. You just roll that wire tight, it fits right in. I believe this wire all in here is eight gauge. Um, get a little tip and trick. If you want to know something, um, ferrules. How do you make a cheap eight gauge ferrule? Copper tubing. Cut the length you need. Um, you can crimp it on this end, solder wire on this, on this side, because basically um, these outputs of the transformer with the brown wires need to go to the two minus marks, which are your line voltage and your rectifier. So I'm looking at mounting the rectifier on this side. It's either up or down. I'm still working on that um, in the capacitor. Let me go ahead and throw that on the mount, put it in, show you what it looks like. So there's the capacitor on the uh, 3D printed mount, just sitting in there. It actually has holes in the side. Um, I designed it with holes on the side, so there's a tie wrap on the front and the back that uh, you just run through and tie that down. 
I also have screw holes on the bottom so I can screw that in. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I may just use double-sided tape. But um, other than that, there's no other way for me to mount this uh, huge capacitor inside of here. So this ground is basically going to be on the positive side. Um, coming off the capacitor and the bridge rectifier. And then for the torch side, it goes to the negative of this. So I'm going to flip this around and show you how we're going to work with that. So this is the other side. And if you look up through here, you can see where this wire right here, this goes up to the torch. You can see where it's coming off of the transformer this is the other side out and you see the little brown wire I'm up in the air as to whether I'm gonna cut this uh, crimp off here I think I'm just gonna cut this wire and put one of these little ferrules and extend it because I gotta extend it back to the other side uh, and the reason why I don't want to cut this one is because I have limited space in there to be able to get my crimpers in there to be able to crimp that down uh, keep in mind you're going to have to crimp these ferrules on this transformer. You can't solder them because uh, the leads are aluminum. So this is a very good thing to use here. It's soft and malleable so you can crimp it. But it's sturdy enough to where it won't come off. And then you can actually solder wires to the other side. So the leads coming out will be soldered basically uh, see if I can't get that on there I'll just solder that on here and then crimp the other end on the other side and I'll do the same thing with this one I'll just solder just break this cut this here strip it back because it's copper and then I can solder one of the ferrules on and then just bring this wires back around to the other side um, this needs to go to the bridge rectifier coming off the transformer and this one to the torch needs to go back over to the other side to the negative of the capacitor and the bridge rectifier coming together. So I'm going to get the rectifier mounted up where I think I want it. Um, Get some wires on there, and then we'll come back and take a look at it. So after some thought, I am not going to mount the bridge rectifier on the side plate as I originally thought I was going to do. I'm going to put it back here. Makes more sense. Um, and that's another reason why I put this powerful fan in here more than enough airflow in here to keep that thing cool uh, I'm gonna put it back here and also you'll notice that I am rerouting the leads and that one's gonna get bent back around here uh, to where I need them uh, originally I was thinking of trying to wire this the way they had them um, with this extra stuff in here it's not gonna work so I'm going to put the bridge rectifier here. Bend this back to the other side, so I'll probably end up cutting that ferrule off like I originally wanted to anyway. And um, we'll come back, take a look at it. This is what it looks like with the bridge rectifier mounted. That's where I'm putting it up here. Just uh, positioned it and then drill the holes from the top. I brought the other output of the transformer instead of it being on the other side back around to this uh, this side here so both of these outputs come out. They go up to the bridge rectifier then your plus and minus come out down to the capacitor plus and minus. 
but just remember don't get confused your clamp will be your positive so here's a shot of the leads coming off the transformer so I brought it back around I left that bear I didn't pull that sleeve up yet just to show you how all you need to do is just solder that brown wire back on the outside of the copper tube you can use um, your typical crumpers like this just use the largest one uh, for the wire you can crimp them down until they release but for the big one back here since this is solid wire and, and it's not pliable uh, you only want to ratchet that down as tight as uh, tight as you can get it but not until it actually auto releases you have that type of uh, crimper you know what I'm talking about other than that if you're just using the regular you know hand type then you'll have to play that by ear but this is the connection up to the bridge bridge rectifier so the only thing left to do is put a terminal here here and run two jumpers back to here so we'll get that together come back take a look so this is what this looks like complete i still haven't uh put the tie wraps on there i think i'm just going to use double-sided tape to hold the capacitor mount down will be good enough a shot of the rectifier how this is wired these are the input lines from the transformer the ACN doesn't matter what goes where and plus and minus DC out these do so this is the positive do not cross wire the capacitor or you will blow it up and as big as that thing is it's going to be a real big bomb plus to plus minus to minus off the capacitor to the bridge rectifier here's where you make your change your tip to make this electrode negative goes to the negative side and what you would think would be your ground now is your positive don't screw that up if you screw that up I don't know what's gonna happen so I'm gonna go ahead and finish mounting this get everything tightened up just turn it on running I'm not going to do any welding there's plenty of videos out there and not only that but I'm not a professional so we'll get that tied up take a look at it closing comments and thoughts we'll be right back okay we're back and we are done the capacitor is mounted. You see the tie wraps. I went ahead and just used double sided tape on the bottom of this. Like I said, I designed screw holes in the bottom. Uh, unless that comes off of there. Uh, and even if it did, I don't think it's going anywhere. Um, I probably won't use them. Maybe, maybe not. There's a shot of the wiring coming off of the rectifier into the capacitor and out I do have a word of caution here with this rectifier if you look at this diagram here you're going to see on the bottom of this when you look at it you're going to see two minus and a plus and a minus so you may think that this is the Plus and minus out 
That is not the case. You want to wire this on the long side of this rectifier. Or at least in my instance, that was the case. And when I turned this on, it buzzed pretty good, but I knew to turn it off like immediately because something wasn't right. And the two minuses on the long end are your line voltage end and your plus and minus on the long side are out. So be very careful with that. Um, the schematic on the side of it, the sticker is not clear on that. So just a word of caution. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on just so you can hear this fan. I'm going to show you how much airflow it puts out. And the reason why I didn't think I needed to mount this rectifier on the side. And we'll go ahead and throw a piece of paper up there. And you can see that blow on that back. There's not a reason for me to mount that on the outside. There's plenty of airflow in there. So, we're going to call this one done. Another project complete. Once again, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, I'll answer them as best I can. And once again, and always, thanks for watching.